You wake up and something feels wrong. The sky is still dark. You check your clock. It's 9 a.m. But the sun gone? Not behind the clouds? Not an eclipse. Just vanished. And within seconds, the world began to change. In a few minutes, temperatures plummet. In a few hours, panic erupts. In a few weeks, life as we know it is over. Because if the sun suddenly turned off, we wouldn't just lose daylight. We'd lose everything. The first few minutes, total darkness. Right now, sunlight takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth. So if the sun turned off right now, we wouldn't know immediately. But once those last rays of light disappear, the sky turns pitch black. Even at noon, the moon and planets vanish from sight because they only shine by reflecting sunlight. The stars become crystal clear because Earth's atmosphere no longer scatters light. At first, it might feel calm until the temperature starts dropping. And that's when the real chaos begins. Governments would scramble to control the situation. Emergency broadcasts would go live worldwide. People would flood the internet, desperate for answers. But deep down, everyone would be asking the same thing. How long do we have left? Within hours, temperature free falls. The sun doesn't just give us light. It provides all the energy that keeps Earth warm. Without it, in the first 24 hours, temperatures drop by nearly 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Within a week, the average global temperature falls below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Within a month, the oceans begin to freeze over. At first, some people might think, we can handle this, we'll just bundle up. Yeah, no. Homes would lose power as solar grids fail. Food supply chains would shut down as extreme cold makes transportation impossible. Emergency shelters would be overwhelmed in days. If you live near the equator, you might survive a little longer. But anywhere else, you'll freeze to death. And soon, something even worse happens. Within weeks, food chains collapse. Right now, every plant on Earth depends on photosynthesis, which needs sunlight. Without the sun, plants stop making oxygen. Most crops die within weeks. Herbivores starve, then carnivores. And humans, no plants equals no food. No plants equals no oxygen. No sunlight equals no vitamin D, weakening our bones and immune systems. Some might try to move underground, into bunkers or deep caves where geothermal heat still exists. But surviving without agriculture, without a stable food supply, it's a slow countdown to extinction. And then comes the next disaster. Within months, the oceans freeze. Water holds heat longer than air. So even though the atmosphere freezes, oceans stay liquid for a while. But eventually, the surface begins to freeze. Within two months, ice spreads across most oceans. Within one year, the entire surface is covered in ice, miles thick. But underneath the ice, deep oceans might remain liquid for thousands of years. This means some life, especially deep sea creatures, could survive for a while. But humanity? Not so lucky. Most cities would be abandoned. Governments would collapse. The remaining survivors might turn to extreme measures, cannibalism, raiding, or even desperate attempts to build underground civilizations. At this point, life on Earth is hanging by a thread. And then, the final stage begins. Within years, Earth becomes a frozen wasteland. With no heat from the sun, Earth's surface temperature plummets to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, the atmosphere freezes and falls to the ground. Oxygen and nitrogen turn into liquid, covering the planet in a frozen haze. Most forms of life extinct. The only hope? Geothermal heat. Underground caves near volcanoes could provide warmth. Some bacteria near deep sea vents might survive. But for humans, unless we've already colonized Mars or yeah. built space stations before this disaster, there's no way out, and Earth's fate is sealed. Without the sun, Earth drifts into darkness. Right now, the sun's gravity keeps Earth locked in orbit. But if the sun vanished, Earth would fly off into space at 67,000 miles per hour. We'd become a rogue planet, drifting endlessly through the galaxy. No light, no heat, no future, just a frozen rock, lost in the void. At that point, the only chance of survival? Finding another star. But considering the closest one is 4.2 light years away, that's not happening. And even if by some miracle we found a way to survive, Earth would never be the same. Twist ending. Is the sun really stable? If this all sounds like a crazy sci-fi story, here's the part you don't want to hear. The sun will go out one day. Not today, not tomorrow, but in 5 billion years the sun will expand into a red giant, then collapse into a white dwarf. And when that happens, life on Earth, no matter where we are, will be over. Unless, of course, we find a way to escape. The bottom line. So, what happens if the sun suddenly turns off? 1. Earth is plunged into total darkness. 2. Temperatures drop below, freezing within days. 3. Plants die, oxygen levels crash, food chains collapse. 4. Oceans freeze, the atmosphere turns to ice. 5. Earth drifts off into deep space, becoming a lifeless rogue planet. And the scariest part? One day, it will happen. 
Comment your craziest what-if idea below, like if you'd rather not freeze to death in the dark, subscribe before the sun goes out,